I have been tortured beyond all fucking limits for 35 fucking years. You all were responsible for that. You did it on purpose and you did not fucking regret it for five fucking seconds. And the worst part of the story is uh, that they fucking enjoyed it. They like to hurt people who do not deserve it as much as fucking possible. And I'm like saying to them that they are mentally disabled. Uh, and they are like, what? Why in the world can you say such thing? Oh my fucking god. You seriously do not understand anything. But uh, today a video appeared on my For You page on TikTok uh, where it seems uh, like they have realized that I was right. Because according to this uh, Norwegian Icelandic uh, TikToker, uh, uh, someone had uh, said uh, sorry for hating on you. And she is saying that many people have done this uh, recently. Her name is Christiana Vera. And this one person, which is probably a representative for many, had said that uh, sorry for hating on you, I have realized that this is wrong because I'm more grown up now. This is the video I am talking about. Det siste så har jeg opplevd syv mange komme bort til meg og si unnskyld for å være støgge mot meg. Eh, og til og med på toget nå for å være til jobb. Så er det fyr som satt seg ned. Jeg bare sånn, er det greit å sitte der? Jeg bare, ja, ja, selvfølgelig. Og så bare sånn, fyr, du ligner skikkelig på å gjøre fra TikTok. Jeg bare, det er hun. Han bare, oi, kjenner du meg igjen? Jeg bare, nei, skulle jeg kjent deg igjen? Han bare, nei, jeg pleide å hate ganske mye på deg. Men eh, nå har jeg vokst opp litt og prøver å ta litt ansvar da. Whoa. So, is it correct to hate on uh, Christiana Vera? Well, maybe because she is not a good-hearted person. But uh, hateful people does not function like that. They do not care about right and wrong, so that cannot be their reason. Therefore, hate is always wrong. And uh, that is why the same people are hating on me when that is totally wrong. Because uh, these people did not care about uh, right or wrong in the first place. And uh, shall I tell you what? People like this uh, does not uh, intend to change their actions at any fucking point in time. They just uh, realize that their actions is visible and they are going to try to hide it better. As soon as they think that they are going to get away with it, they are going to continue with those same actions. Because people does not fucking change. They do not care how much you have been tortured for how long and how unfair that was. Like I have been tortured beyond all fucking limits for 35 fucking years. And no matter what you do to these other people in return, I can never get back uh, those lost years. I can never uh, undo that torture. No matter how much you punish those other people, that is not going to change this torture and loss of life which I have been through. So the least uh, thing you can do is to punish uh, those people and make the world prepared for a better future. Because people do not change, they really don't. They don't care, and they are not going to start to care at any fucking point in time. So remember what they did, because these people still function that way. They have just started to make it less visible, because they are afraid of the consequences. And I am going to continue to publish information on uh, the internet and uh, remind you about uh, their past. Because as soon as these people think that they are going to get away with it, they are going to continue with those same actions. And I am not going to allow for that to happen. And they showed us again and again. Each time they said that they were going to change. They went back to doing that exact same thing. 
So it is time to stop listening to them. And like, have you observed the news uh, the last couple of uh, days and the last couple of weeks? Yeah, they are not going to change anything. They showed you that again and again and again. And it accelerated uh, the last couple of weeks and the last couple of days that they are not going to change anything. It accelerated uh, the last couple of days and the last couple of weeks that they have shown us that they are not going to change anything. Yeah, like healthcare has a better reputation than ever and that is so wrong on so fucking many levels. They are going to continue to hide the abuse of me and they are not going to admit anything. And we cannot live on a planet like that. Yeah, like currently I do not have the possibility to delete my videos from LinkedIn. And that is probably because other people are trying to delete my videos. Currently all of my tags uh, on my latest uh, TikTok video were not active. So after I talked about uh, how this video appearing on my For You page on a TikTok of the police was uh, corrupt in uh, the car on the way to the gym, this uh, menstruation pad was uh, attached to the wall when I got to the gym while I was on my menstruation. So could it possibly be uh, the corrupt police which uh, attached this uh, menstruation pad uh, to the wall because uh, they were angry at me for talking shit about the police. And when I was uh, done exercising, the menstruation pad was uh, removed from the wall. This is the video which I am talking about, which appeared on my For You page on a TikTok before I went to the gym that same day. It's a great performance. A newlywed in tears after being told her husband has just been found murdered. But those are crocodile tears. Dahlia DiPolito has fallen into a trap. The hitman she hired to carry out the murder was actually an undercover cop. I'm positive, like 5,000%. Dahlia played the grieving widow for all it was worth. And there was more play acting at the police station. Even at the moment, cops told her the ruse is up. You're going to jail today. Your husband is well and alive. Thank God. Oh, yeah, thank God. Can I see no, you don't want to see you. I was impressed with her lying skills. I mean, but I just, you can't believe when you watch it. I'm sorry, but this is not according to what I have observed the police uh, has been doing. And then I am talking about the actual actions uh, performed by the police in uh, not uh, just a presentation made uh, to the public in order to trick them into doing crime in order to show their real personality. No, I am talking about the actual actions uh, done by the police. So I feel like this video is uh, just shown in order to present a facade of the police which is not fucking connected uh, to the fucking reality. I think that the whole police is criminal because I think that this is uh, the admission requirement for the police and uh, therefore these uh, changes are done by other people than the police. And the truth is this, uh, that you do not need an education to do changes because uh, an education does not change a mentally disabled person. To do changes, you need an IQ and the right intentions. You need an IQ significantly high enough to understand that you want to work towards a better future for this planet. Yeah, and uh, some weeks ago, some of this... Uh, person in this car was uh, watching uh, the driveway up uh, to the house where I am uh, 
currently are living and I was like wow you are angry and why are you watching uh, the road uh, up to the house where I am located and uh, yeah we all know that visible police is not necessary because uh, someone is watching in the house already or else I would have been killed uh, many years ago because uh, I have seen many people trying to do that so why was it uh, suddenly necessary to put up uh, this facade where you make it seem like uh, someone is uh, watching this house? And uh, this person watching the road, which probably was a police officer, was only standing there for one day while sitting inside of his car. Yeah, and the reason why I am not killed is because uh, these people which want to kill me is uh, surveillancing me. They know that other people are surveillancing me and they know that if they are going to kill me, people are going to see this. But anyhow, someone has been trying to kill me anyway, so they are probably thinking that even though someone uh, see this uh, and I am surveillance, they are not going to get caught and that is, uh, yeah, that is uh, extreme. Probably they have evidence showing that uh, this is possible to perform and uh, therefore this is saying something about the extremity of uh, the situation because uh, they base their action uh, on uh, the current history. So why did they suddenly decide to make it appear like they are behaving better? They are forced into a corner. The only thing they can do is to say sorry and hope for the best. Uh, for selfish reasons.